Okay, Father, we want to thank you again for another Saturday. And we want to thank you that you have assisted us that Saturday that we had the least attendance at the hall. As I drove home, I was stirred up. Why should I be spending money and people don't come to the meeting? That day, that evening, I exploded in an angry prayer. And then you gave me the idea that why not cut half, half of the days? That means Saturday half, Sunday half, so that you don't waste the hours. But the partners did not agree. And they said, it cannot be so. So I decided to put off Saturday. Thank you that I did that. Because it is rather interesting that our meetings on Saturdays at Kanda is even more attending than the hall. I can't imagine that. Thank you for that progress. Today it has rained. We thank you for the rains, but we pray that it shall not hinder those coming, that they will still be able to make it. Those that have challenges, that you will assist them to sort it out. If nothing at all, they don't make it today, they will come make it tomorrow at the hall. We pray for financial provision. Lord, you know how we are suffering in this African continent, especially those of us that cannot cheat, cannot steal, cannot corrupt. We are the most suffering. That is why I have to create a kind of life for myself to live the lowest cost. What I don't need, I don't put money in there. Even though I have the money, I can do what I want to do, but I don't want to waste money because somebody is dying somewhere, needing some money. I prefer to once in a while send some money to people that I know they are in difficulties. Even when it is small, it is like my money I would have spent in something, I will give it to somebody who best need it. As I said, I pray that one day, as people come to give their offerings in their small needs, in their small situations, I will give them offering from heaven. And it will be foreign currencies. Because our unuseful leaders in our continent, Africa, have made our currencies useless unuseful leaders, evil people, wicked, selfish people. They will come and say all kinds of things. And then at the end of the day, the masses will continue to suffer. Look at the discussion we had before this takeoff of this meeting. That some count of, some part of the city, even in Accra, I was talking about the north, that people are wearing chalewate, half of it is gone. No, no, even in Accra, you can find people with chalewate with holes. The lowest cost of slippers. And we're talking about why can't our countries in Africa build factories to produce those chalewate? Even the plastic bags we are throwing away, we can melt it and create chalewates. I wish I have the money, Lord. I would have done it. So that our Plastics that are destroying the environment will be rechanneled into Charlie Wati for the people to wear. Oh God, if I continue to pray to talk our problems, we will not end the prayer. But as I take off this discipleship moment of today's meeting, the school of the knowledge of God, we have two sections. The discipleship is the first part of the section A. And the main studies of the school of the knowledge of God is the B part. 
But as we begin this discipleship, I pray that you awaken the understanding of these people. Stir up their spirit, especially their weakened and dead spirit. Stir it up so that they will be able to receive what will give them hope. Father, it is very, very difficult in Africa. Can you imagine you need almost 12 of our CD currency to change a single dollar? What, what, what is this? What kind of nonsense is this? Oh God, what have we not done right? And we have minerals that can back our currencies. The British pound is backed by gold taken from Africa. How? And we cannot back our currencies with our gold and diamonds. Africa has the lowest devalued currencies. What kind of unfairness is this, Father? That is why the kingdom must come. Lord, I keep on telling you every morning, after thanking you for a new day and a new everything, I tell you clear that, Father, but I am sad that I have woken up in the evil system that I slept last night. This is the evil system I don't want to live in. I have told you over and over, God, that if this thing will not happen, let me leave. I don't want to live in this evil system any longer. I hate it. If this kingdom business cannot take off now, Father, then let's cancel it. I don't have time to waste. I cannot stand the wickedness of our leaders. The criminality. Create loot and share. That is all is happening in Africa. Look at Gabon. What have they found? Four billion CFA in the president's son's house. Not to talk about other countries, Niger, Guinea. Even in our country, that there's no even coup here too. They have found millions of dollars in people's houses. Why? What have we done to deserve this? Will the founding fathers of our countries be happy in the spirit world? No. That is why, Lord, according to your desire you sought for a man, I have continuously, till this morning, told you that I offer myself again and again as that man you can find. I don't know about others. Thank you, Father, because I must end this prayer. The prayer has become teachings, but I must end it so that we can go into the discipleship. Use me as an instrument to disciple your people so that I can raise laborers. This we ask in Jesus' name. If the disciples agree, let them shout Amen. 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 It, it's very, very painful. Every morning I get up, I thank God for my new life. But sometimes I wish I don't get up. Yes. I wish I don't get up. Because I don't see why I should get up in this evil system. What woke me up was two young men that came from France. And they were riding their jet ski, vacating, holiday on the ocean. And these are Moroccans who share ocean border with Algeria. In their roaming, roaming, playing, young people, they got lost. Because they are mountains. And they escaped into Algeria side of the waters. Then the Algeria border police came around. If they are found wrong, arrest them. You didn't do that. You just shot them. Yes. Shot them. One was able to escape. That's what wake me up this morning from BBC. Got angry. Foolishness is what we keep on doing. As if life 
can easily be made out of a molded clay. And one of the young people has wife and two children. Left the wife and the children. Oh, I'm going home to come. He's short. Hey! Why do you think I should be interested in waking up every morning in this useless system in the world? Where human beings don't value their fellow human beings. When God, who created us, said, be each other's keepers. It's nonsense. I'm a revolutionary. It's only because I found that human beings are crooked. That's why I backed out. People that know me, they knew that I would have been working with the revolution of uh, this country. But they didn't know that I saw how corrupt the revolution was. So I backed out. The moment Kakatapuri left, I backed out. Because I was working with Akatapuri for the students in the east and not in the north. I was representing the students. And I even have records in my school as a leader, as a revolutionary, in Form 3. I manage my school. The Ministry of Education was even afraid of me. When Akatapuri came to the north, he came to my school, he came and met us. Gave us a report as how far. It's unfortunate that crooked people that Akatapuru made a mistake and brought them in in the revolution. They messed this country up. They messed this country up. This country should have been far because revolution is one of the best ways to build a country because you don't have a parliament. You don't have parliament where uh, they will go and be deciding and be voting before. Uh, projects can be done. No! A revolution, one man has there. You, the revolutionary people, sit and say, look, the country needs it. Let's do it. Then you start doing it. That is why Libya is one of the most developed places that Gaddafi built. Because of revolution, Gaddafi was able to build Libya properly and even develop the desert. It's just unfortunate that he died wrongly because he stayed too much on power. He should have handed over. Because revolution gives you chance to build. The people that sat in this country, revolutionaries, wasted our years. Couldn't build nothing. Some of you are making noise in revolution. Do you know the, what is the revolution? <laughs> Talk about revolution. We are not talking about Cuba useless revolution Castro did. It's a useless one. Look at Cuba today. Look at Cuba today. Cuba could have made money from America easily. But look at them. The last time I saw Cuba, oh my God, I watched a documentary on Cuba. Ah. It's terrible. Obama tried to help them small when he came into office. But crazy Donald Trump came and stopped it. Labana Cuba would have picked up because tourism from America is enough for Cuba. Cuba is just a stone throw from America. American can make tourism build Cuba easily. But Donald Trump shut it down. So they are back to square one. Communism. It's a useless ideology. Useless. It's a communism, and the people will be suffering. Oh, and the communist leaders will be smoking cigar from luxury Western countries. Oh. Does it make sense? That's, that's communism. Putin and co living in luxury. And then the Russians are suffering. Common masses too don't have knowledge at all. Yes. Common people will be shouting, making noise. They don't have knowledge. When Jesus came, he gave opportunity to poor people. What did they do? Useless. The disciples, look at what they did. They didn't even understand what the man was talking about. The concept of the They don't understand it. Thank God for late Dr. Mas. If not, the world would have continued in the 
misunderstanding that the disciples pass on to us. Which is what Christianity is boasting about. Boasting about useless philosophy. Useless Christianity. 2.8 billion people be misled with some useless philosophy. In the name of Jesus Christ, we are going to heaven. When the man Jesus Christ himself told his father, don't take them out of this earth. Common sense. Don't take them out of this earth. Why? Because I have business for them to fix in this earth. And the 2.8 billion leaders called Christians are busy marching the people to heaven. This country is made of over 70% Christians. And the country is one of the most corrupt. So what does it mean? Christians are corrupt. When they are talking, they will shut up. They want to talk something. If you claim to have Holy Ghost and you cannot be in leadership of the country, do you think people who don't know what Holy Ghost is all about can lead you? Common sense Christianity don't have. Common sense Christians don't have. Look at this moment. The country has lost confidence in the two political parties, MPP and NDC. If Christians in this country are wise, 70%, they would have come together and formed one Christian political party. Yes. Common sense. They would have formed one because Ghanaians will vote for that party because we are fed up with these two parties who don't know they are left from their right. Come and tell us all kinds of lies. Old people lying. And don't know that they, are, they will die soon. You meet God. I taught old people, and I know old people don't lie. But I, I can't believe old people lying. Now the country, people are saying they won't vote again. Everywhere you go, oh, they are the same people. So why should, and, and it's painful that the poor people will get up early in the morning and go and stand in the queue. Till they vote in the evening, you know, some in the afternoon, those who make it early afternoon, from morning, you know. And the people they'll be voting for, their wives and children are abroad enjoying. That's the evil. And fool the masses to vote, and they will vote. And the masses will end up suffering for the next four or five years to vote again. So now they are fed up. Because their hope of all hope has come to an end. This is the time Christians that make 70% would have been sensible to fix a party. Yes, I had, it, I had this idea from one, one of the outspoken lawyers. And, and it, it makes sense. When I heard him, I said, ah, this is a brilliant idea. I wish I'd get media talk. I would have pulled it off. I would push it. Because the kingdom, we are still waiting. If it comes, then it's the best. The kingdom government is the best. But that one is depending on what God will release. That's the problem. But this is the human government we are talking about. The people are working on this earth with the mind of going to heaven. So the mess that is going on, they don't care. So you see how we are? That's the issue, issue now. So I have come out of this confused thinking. Unuseful thinking. I have come out of it nine years ago. And you are privileged to be disciples. I'm trying to disciple and raise. Because God is happy to get a group of people who have a different mind from the over five billion religious mind that claim to be God's children. So God is happy. I can assure you. Because the generations that pass by 
over 40 generations. Human beings don't know why they are on the earth. Oh. Yes, they don't know. They just come on the earth and somebody's idea they will carry throughout their life and die. Can you imagine? Our old man is just lucky that 86 years he's lucky to hear the truth. So his life would have changed for the better. But all his colleagues that have died, they have died unfulfilled. Yes, because they don't even know why they are living. Some of them think that, oh, I came to the earth, I went to school, and I became a clerk. A clerk. I became an office civil servant, so I have done my part. You go and meet God. Whether God sent you to come and be a civil servant, you answer. Somebody's idea. Somebody's idea is what brought about civil servants. Somebody's idea is what brought about all the things that are happening in this world. But the annoying thing is that what is the greatest idea? We are not aware of that. Up to today, parents are forcing their children to do what their children don't want. Uselessness of the highest order. They cannot even know as parents that God created everything according to the purpose of its will. So therefore, our children must be left on their own to discover why God created them. We are forcing them to do what we want. You meet God. Yes, every parent will answer. Because the Bible says that raise a child the way that is right. When the child grows, he will not depart. And here you are. You are raising the child the way you want. Can you imagine if my mother raised me the way she wanted and I also went that way? Will I be here teaching you? Will I be here discipling you to fulfill God's heartbeat? That is the question you should ask yourself. God is suffering for no reason. That the mistake he made is he created you in his own image. How can God make a mistake? But that is what you have made him to be. We have made God to be in a state of mistake because he created us in his own image. So we have taken that image and we are abusing it. Because that, that image has in its content free will so we use the free will to abuse god's image it is appointed on man once to die and after death judgment when they talk people think we are just talking. Because somebody's useless idea will tell you that the Bible was written by human beings. <laughs> and the people don't even have knowledge, common sense to know that the person that is saying that is foolish. Because do you want the Bible to be written by monkeys? <laughs> do you want the Bible to be written by lizards. If God wants to pass message to human beings, he knows best that it is human beings that can put the message in the way for themselves to understand. God is not like you. God is not like you. God is sensible. That's why I prove to those people that your stupidity cannot control the world again. Because the Bible that you don't regard, I have come out to tell you that that Bible is more authentic than the science that you experiment in labs and get results. 
that Bible is authentic and more better than science. Because that Bible has and contains science information before there was a science. So let's talk. Yes, let's talk. You scientists have to go dig in the earth. Then you discover that they lived a monstrous animal called dinosaurs. But my Bible has told me about dinosaurs before you were digging. So me and you, who is sensible? My Bible has told me about planets, galaxies, before science could come out to talk about planets and galaxies through NASA. So what are we talking about? What are we talking about? What we lack knowledge about is what influences us. That's the common knowledge we don't have. What influences us? America has the best police in the world. But what are they able to do? They are only able to sit down and wait for somebody to kill another person and go and hide or burn or bury the person. Then the police will work sometime in years to discover who did that crime. But the common sense I ask you is that have they achieved? They have achieved nothing. Because the most important achievement is life, and they have killed their life already. If they have the knowledge and the sense, they would have told themselves that, why do we sit down when the harm has been completed, before we go and be looking for the person who created the harm, who caused the harm? Why can't we now find out, or let's even tell the general public, is there somebody who can help us Locate the person who is planning to kill before he kills. That's common sense, American police. If you don't know what I'm talking about, consult me. Influences are what creates crimes. Influences. And just as there are physical influences, so they are spiritual influences. Whether you like it or not, human beings are three components. Spirit, soul, and body. All you intellectuals that don't believe in spiritual things. Your own belief about spirituality does not stop spirituality. It rather makes you foolish about spirituality. Your own belief about spirituality does not distinguish, uh, does not dis, uh, 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 does not stop spirituality from operation. Mm -hmm. It does not halt spirituality. Your Ignorance about spirituality does not deny the existence of spirituality. It is just because you don't have common sense. You would have realized that common question you should have asked yourself is, I slept. And when I slept, I didn't know what was happening. That means I was dead. And I woke up. So what wake me up? Common sense. What waked me up? That means there's something beyond my physical body that I'm not aware of. And that is what is the spirit. That is what is called the spirit. That is the same spirit that displays itself in fear.
One of the identifications of spirit is fear. If God did not put fear in you, which is part of your spirit, fear is your spirit alerting you about danger. So your spirituality has nothing to do with your ignorance of spirituality. Your ignorance about spirituality does not stop spirituality. In fact, it makes spirituality even more powerful. If we understand spirituality, then we can now be able to dissect spirituality and know that spirituality is made out of two components. The positive component and the negative component. Or if you like, the good component and the bad component. That is the dissection of spirituality. That means spirituality has the bad side and the good side. One of the functions of the bad side is to murder, is to commit crime, is to kill, is to steal. That is the functions of the bad side of spirituality. So people do not get up and just do something. They are influenced to do it. And if you know spirituality, you can locate the influences and then you can be able to stop the influences that are negative. Because you are spiritual, if you fail to recognize spirituality, it makes you who has failed to recognize spirituality to be vulnerable to the negative influences of spirituality. Okay. I repeat. If you are ignorant about spirituality, your ignorance about spirituality makes you vulnerable. Vulnerable means open. Or liable or submissive to the influences of negative spirituality. Because spirituality will give you understanding that every spirit needs a body to operate. Why? Because of the laws of nature. Because of the laws of nature. Because the creator, when he created the earth, instructed the earth what must live on the earth. So spirits are illegal when it comes on residing on the earth. So for them to be legal, they must look for container to be contained in. And your lack of knowledge or ignorance about spirituality opens you up as a free container to be used. Because the spirit that is negative is sensible than you. Because that spirit will see a container such as the fridge. But the spirit is wise than you. That the spirit knows if I enter this container, movement will be difficult for me. I will be remain, I will be there. I can't move. The best container to enter is a human being. 
because he has legs, he has eyes, he has ears, he has hands. So that's the best container all spirits are interested in invading. That's why you sit here listening to me. If you fail to build your spirit, I can assure you thousands of pieces of spirits are hanging around your body. That is why you do things that are not right. Everything that a human being does that is not right is influenced by a spirit that is wrong. According to your creation formula, every human being knows what is right. Even mad people, when they are crossing the road, they watch. True or false? So how can you be normal? And you allow yourself to be controlled by a negative spirit. Negative spirits use ignorant human beings who are ignorant about spirits. Very, very easy and wise and smartly. You that you don't believe in spirits, oh, you are the best body they want. Because you will never worry them. Because you don't believe they exist. So they will be comfortable in your body. And that is what is happening to our intellectuals who don't believe the existence of spirits. Intellectuals are more possessed with spirits. Yes. Don't ask the intellectuals because they don't know. They don't know. I'm a spiritualist. I'm a, an expert in spirits. So I know what I'm telling you. Intellectuals watch their lives. Or talk to intellectuals, their wives. If they will tell you the truth, not wanting to cover their husbands, they will tell you that, yes, what you are saying is true. My husband sometimes behave abnormal. They will tell you. Because their intellectualism makes them deny the existence of spirits. So spirits are very comfortable in bodies that don't know anything about them. Yes, spirits, they are wise. Because when they enter bodies that know something about them, they will always have problems. I'm telling you about mysteries behind spirits. That is why some of us are able to change things and people wonder, how did you do it? How are you able to do this? Because I understand spirits and I know how to deal with them. Why must people say that this is an accident spot? It's because they are ignorant. How come that the whole road, a particular place, is an accident spot? What do you mean? What made it a spot? Something definitely made it a spot. So common sense should have told them that Let's find out why this particular place accident happened. Even their common knowledge could have advised them that let's fix a camera in the night and leave it there. Oh, the camera will catch image. 
that will tell you that something happens here in the night. Because spirits will want to move with containers. So if they don't get any container, they will get an image. An image is a container. Mm -hmm. It's because you don't think. That's why you don't know an image is a container. If an image is not a container, no camera can catch it. Because cameras are designed to catch objects. And objects are tangible. Mm -hmm. Be careful that you are dealing with a, a physicist who is talking spiritual things. Mm -hmm. So if you fix a camera, it will catch images. And you will be able to read those images and know that something really takes place here. But the next question is, what will you be able to do with those images unless you understand spirituality? Because those images are spirits. And they only understand language of spirits. Look, look, look at human beings. With all the scientific knowledge and they are too known. Hurricane Adela, or what do you call it? Eh? Huh? No, just a recent one, Florida. Adalia. Adalia is coming. Let's carry the people here. Everybody leave, leave. Then the Adalia or Darling or whatever will come and destroy everything they have used years to build. And they have never sat down to find out what is in this stone. Common sense. Oh, the Bible, human beings wrote it. Okay, the human beings wrote a record. And one of the records, another human being spoke to the storms. And the storms obeyed. That means that they are not storms. They are spirits. Because storms don't hear. <laughs> storms are wind. They don't hear. They don't have ears. So how, how can they obey? No, they don't hear. They don't obey. They don't have sense. But if storms obey and they hear, that means a spirit is using them. Go back to the beginning. I told you, spirits need container. So the storm is a container. That's why when they show you the storm in the film or the TV, you see it. If it is not a container, you will not see it. So if you have knowledge about spirituality, then they would have asked themselves, so what is using that container? And the solution is solved. Jesus knew what I am telling you. That storms use containers. His good friend, Peter, he told him some secret. And his friend said, Master, I will stand and somebody will kill you. He said, Satan, get thee out of me. He didn't say Peter. Come on now. He didn't say Peter. He said, Satan, get thee out of me. What does that mean? Satan, a spirit, has used Peter as a container to operate. It's as simple as that. But this is the information that people have been deceived that human beings wrote. So it is killing us because we have ignored the records that will help us. He says, Satan, get thee out of me. But he was talking to Peter. He did not address Peter. Why? He knows it is not Peter. But it is Peter, a container being used by a spirit. 
And that spirit is the negative one. So this is what I've learned from that man. And it makes a lot of sense. And since I learned it, everywhere I go and I discover a spirit is, be, is using some container and I speak, the spirit stops. <laughs> it's knowledge. So intellectual, stop your intellectualism and learn spirituality. But I have already warned you, we have two types of spirituality. We have the negative and we have the positive. The negative will always give you negative results. It can pretend to give you positive sometimes. But at the end of it, it is not. It's going to be negative. Mm. Spirituality is the most important knowledge that you should acquire. <laughs> Spirituality is the most important knowledge human beings should acquire. Because that is what they lost. Human beings lost their spirituality. That is why they have become useless containers. So spirits are using them. What is painful is that they don't even pay you. <laughs> Every rent that is offered to a tenant, there is a cost. Except spiritual rent. Spiritual rent. They don't pay them. Tell the person, say, do you know you are one of them? <laughs> Tell the person, they don't pay you. <laughs> when you are ignorant, your container will be used for free. <laughs> Sometimes you drink water, the next moment you are tested. They have drank the water from you. Because you thought you need water, this is the amount of water you need. But there are some spirits in you who are also drinking some of the water. So when you take, it's not enough. You take, it's not enough. When you eat, you eat, now nah, nah, you are hungry. Some people are parasites. Eating free food from you. Free water from you. Your ignorance about spirituality makes you vulnerable to lost or losses. America is losing big time because of their ignorance about spirituality. People have built homes and it is not used because some spirits have come to occupy the house. And they call it haunted house. Spirit, they don't pay rent. Mm. Spirits were playing organ. Mm -hmm. And the organ is playing well, correct song. But you don't see the hands or the body that is playing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And that is happening in America. And they went and called the police. The police, what can the police do? The police is another human being who is ignorant <laughs> about his spirituality. I'm praying that when I get to America, I'll hold spiritual classes for American police. Lift a clap of faith to Jesus. I'll prove to them some things. And after I have proved, then I'll go and offer them free classes. Because they are fighting crime. But they are fighting it wrongly. The people that are committing that crime have a tool that the American police is not aware of. What is that tool? Spiritual tool. And I'm an expert in spiritual tool. So I can teach them. So that there's crime we don't need will stop. Because I can easily teach the American police that instead of you walking around with your gun, 
I'll teach you, you don't need a gun. Walk around with your mouth. I'll teach you some things to be saying as you walk. And then it's enough to stop crime in that area. You will see that your records will show, your previous record will show that this street, every one hour, this is the killings that happen. But since this man taught us his things, it has stopped. Yes. Because I know what I'm talking about. Spirits are what is our biggest enemy on earth. And there are billions of spirits. In fact, our population is 10 billion at most currently. But we have trillions of spirits. So they are fighting for our body. <laughs> they are fighting for our body. That's why you can have thousands of them in one human body. So when you are sleeping, they don't want you to wake up home. Because they use you more when you are sleeping. <laughs> uh, sometimes when somebody is sleeping, go and take your time and be watching the person. <laughs> you understand how spirits use bodies when people are sleeping. <laughs> sometimes the people who are sleeping and they will be talking. <laughs> And when you stay and listen to what they are talking, it doesn't make sense. Some spirits are fighting in his body. <laughs> so they are talking. They are using his talking to talk. And they didn't pay. <laughs> Spirituality is interesting. Spirituality is very interesting. I pray that you will learn so that you can first of all deliver yourself. Your acquisition of technology of spirituality gives you the first benefit of your deliverance. And after you have been delivered, you can deliver others. You can be able to deliver houses, can be able to deliver countries, can be able to deliver cities, can be able to deliver communities. Because spirits retard economic programs. Spirits retard financial programs. Spirits retard intellectual developments. Yes. There are bridges that were constructed. And these are having evidence. When they close work, the next morning they will come. What they have tightened with boat and finished is loosed and removed. <laughs> and they wonder who could have done that. They are spirits. So some, some of the engineers that are white, they are smart. They fixed camera there. And they were able to cut the image. And when they got the image, they said, no, we don't have no knowledge about this. Then they have to consult the people in the village. And the people say, ah, oh, there's some old man. We have to go and see the old man. Then the old man has to negotiate before their project continues. The old man has to tell them to give some things and he will perform some things. And because that the spirit said, who are they to come and disturb his water? And they didn't even tell him. They just came and they are blocking his water and moving their, his water and putting some structures. That's why he's removing them to show them that he owns the water. Spirits. <laughs> there is a highway port in, I've forgotten the village. Vota region, when you are going to hold. every year they have accident. It's in town. And the accident always sends a car into a house. 
either one side, the next time they go to the other side. And I saw it. In those days, I used to go to Hoh to teach people spirituality. I stopped. Then I asked the village people. They told me, every year it happens. Then I said, okay, I'll end it. So I did it. As I talked to you, it's more than 15 or 17 years. It has never happened again. Because... I suck the spirits that are there doing that. That is the negative spirits. They will always create trouble. Negative spirits. They retard peace. People are in the house quarreling every day. You think it's them? It's spirits. Spirits making them quarrel. People quarrel in their bedroom. It's spirits. The spirit don't want to see you happy. Laughing with each other. They want you to fight. <laughs> they have come to kill, to steal, and to destroy. Especially if they can't kill you. They will let you fight. Because you are not observant. That's why you don't know that spirits are around you. If you are observant, you will see things that show that spirits are there. Focus on things in your room or your house. You go the next time, it has changed. It has moved. And who moved it? <laughs> anyway, let me stop. Otherwise, I will talk till tomorrow. Because I have much to talk about spirits. Especially when I see them causing havoc. I cannot wait to make use of the knowledge I have to people who appreciate it than Ghana. Ghana doesn't appreciate the knowledge we have. For some long time now, over 10 years, I have not done any spiritual operation in this country. So this country is vulnerable. Anything can happen, especially earthquake will hit. And other things can happen because the country is vulnerable. Because nobody cares. When I used to be, okay, I have a good car so I can do some things for the country for free. It was Kufo's government that was able to recognize my work and assist my work. But nobody else. They don't even care who I am. If I have some tools, I can do things for the country. But I don't have it. And nobody cares that I have. Mm. So you have to be protective to yourself. Because the country is vulnerable. Because her spiritual gates are opened. And it's not easy to do it. Gone are the days I get media so I can talk. Somebody has money, he can say, hey, professor, what do you need? I don't need anything than a, a good car. My car is now old. My car is 18 years old now. Now my gears don't want to pick. So I can't travel with it. If I have some tools, like a clean car, some money to pay hotel, to eat, you move around the country and fix things in order. Because spirits will always operate to irrespectful of whether you respect them or you know them or you are friends to them or relatives. They don't care. They will operate. And you need people that have knowledge about them to deal with them. Because one of the biggest secrets of spirituality is to know that spirits are illegal on earth. And the biggest power. Ah, I love this. They ask Jesus, by what authority do you do these things? That because I'm the son of man. Hey! People think that I'm a son of man. Oh, I'm a man. That's all. No! It is beyond that. It is beyond that. But I'll not tell you today. Because you're not ready for it. Oh, yes. It's not by math. 
Open your mouth to say you are ready, that means you are ready. No. If you are ready, you see it in your act. He said, I am the son of man. See God. When he wants you to deal with some powerful things, he doesn't call you by name. He says, son of man. <laughs> he knows Ezekiel's name. I call him son of man. That means he wants you to do some action. Because there's a secret about the son of man. As I said, I won't teach you because you are not ready yet. <laughs> Kelewele does not become the son of man. Does it? No. Kelewele is for chewables. He said, because I'm the son of man. Hey! That's a deeper statement. But spiritual technology and spiritual authority, I stood at the fight White House and I was giving an exposure on media. And I said, I came to prepare this White House for Obama to rule as an African in the whole world. He said, what? Who is this guy? <laughs> then, then they said, what message do you have for America? I said, oh, they should tell Hillary Clinton to stop the race because she won't go anywhere. Obama is done. That's why I came. We have finished the work. That's why I came to prepare the White House. And after that, I'm going back with a key. <laughs> if I have the key, you need to come to Ghana before you can get it. <clears throat> so I release that key on the thirty first October ninth. in a ninth video. And I released that key using somebody as an African-American in Ghana to represent Obama, and I gave him the key. And I even made him make a speech. Then four days after that, the American voted, 4th November, and Obama became president. This is spiritual technology. It surpasses human technology. It does not work with whether you accept it, you compromise, you like it. No, 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 no. That is why I told you is the highest knowledge you need. When you decide, it's finished. There's no democracy in spirituality. It is who has the spiritual most powerful. He does what he wants. That's why Jesus said, who is he that can enter a strong man's house except a stronger than him? First binds that strong man. Then he can enter his house and collect his goods. So yes, America is a superpower, but we bind him before. And we even brought his authority here. Yeah. <laughs> the son of man. Ask the person sitting by you, are you the son of man? Yes. Ask the person, can you be the son of man? Amen. I've finished the first section. Let's see if there are questions. To be asked. Let's see whether there are questions to be asked. Yes. <clears throat> 